You have failed this city. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your man here, Stubble, and yeah, well, it is uh, has officially come to an end. So early today, uh, well, not uh, early today. I finished. Uh, I officially finished watching the uh, final episode of Arrow, and I've got to tell you, I've uh, of all the series, uh, well, of all the final episodes of uh, action series that I've come across. Uh, uh, comic book related wise I don't think I've seen a better one than that one so hell because Arrow well, out of all the uh, well all the DC series that are currently going on a minute Arrow was the one that started them all and the way that they uh, they ended this one it's uh, it's just beyond what I imagined so uh, despite everything even though it's come to an end I still think uh, they've they put a lot of effort into it and they couldn't have done a better job for throughout the eight years that it's been going on for. And uh yeah, so thought I'd give you my uh my review and breakdown of the final episode. So right at the beginning, uh we uh see uh well we see a few flashbacks to start with, uh, a few things that uh that changed after Oliver made his sacrifice during the crisis. Uh, uh, so it's uh, multiple things that happen. So uh, yeah, be aware of a few spoilers here if you haven't come across it yet. So uh, if you are, uh, well, if you are wanting to see the last episode and you don't want to, see, no spoilers. I suggest you stop watching the video right now. <laughs> Just a heads up. Okay, so so the first flashback we saw was uh, back uh, back in season two when uh, when Slade was still on Mercuru. He had. Uh, Oliver, Fia, and uh, and Moira. In other words, uh, Oliver's mother. So originally, season two, we see Slade uh, murder um, and Moira right in front of uh, Oliver and Thea. But see, this time, uh, due to his sacrifice, the timeline changed, and uh, yeah, so he was able to get free. Somehow, he whipped out a uh, a pocket knife, cut himself free, and stopped Slade from killing his mum. And yeah, that, uh, that I really wasn't expecting that. So his mum was still alive. Uh, Lance was still alive, and one that I really wasn't expecting, uh, Tommy's still alive. But that being said, though, they all still uh, they all still heard about the realities where they were dead uh, in some life. So yeah, it was was quite a lot for them to take in. Uh, was another thing as well. So they, uh, Sarah, she went, uh, she went to the future to twenty forty to find, um, uh, well, it was, uh, Oliver's daughter Mia, her old older version of course. She uh, came to pick her up and take her back to, well, twenty, uh, yeah, twenty nineteen for Oliver's funeral. I mean, saying that twenty twenty nineteen might have actually been twenty twenty of course, but who knows? I mean. Because Oliver's official death was uh, was just before the New Year, so in in this well in the timeline that is, but yeah, there were uh, and so there were quite a few uh, emotional scenes, uh, like uh, well that uh, that one in uh, in Star City where Lansom well thought back of. Uh, Everything that he'd, um, well, every encounter that he had with Oliver, so saying how he hated him so much, but then he was saying how wrong he was for accusing him of all those things, and I don't think he could have made a better made a speech. So after saying all those things, he unveiled the statue of the Green Arrow, which just looked brilliant. I think the uh, main thing to remember is that even though Oliver's gone. Uh, he uh, his sacrifice basically uh, uh, well, he basically persuaded and uh, inspired the everyone else to do uh, well 
just to move on with their lives, do like a much better job than he ever could. And I mean, saying that, uh, I mean, everything that Oliver did was great. I mean, some across the eight years that he was a Green Arrow, he uh, really changed the world. And came across so many, so many villains played by so many great actors. And I could not be more, well, more happy with everything I've seen in this series. And I think it's just brilliant. Uh, so that's officially the end of an era. For those of you who are caught up with it, if you remember, right at the end of uh, season seven, you saw uh, you saw the monitor taking Felicity through a portal. So she said, "I've been waiting a very long time to see him." Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but she um, she still looked a bit older there. Uh, that because that that's because that was from the year twenty forty, when uh, so. You don't remember throughout season seven instead of flashbacks, I had flash forwards where it was in the future, so twenty forty. And uh yeah, so Felicity did show up at some point. And the monitor took uh for a bottle. Next thing you know, she's uh in the old office of the uh, business building uh, Queen Consolidated, where um well, all of his father started his business of course. And yeah, uh next thing you know, she picks up a picture. It's an old one of um, his, uh, well, him and his dad. Then she looks forward, and he's standing right there. So I don't really know what it was about, but I'm presuming that uh, the monitor basically promised her some sort of, um, well, alternate reality where he's alive, and yeah, that's just the way it ended. It is quite a bit to take in. You know, it was a lot that everyone took in, uh, like Felicity, met her daughter from the future which was well very hard for her and uh but yeah just um just as john was leaving there was um one thing that i noticed about him that uh well there were there were actually rumors spread out about it but i didn't actually think it was going to happen so some sort of meteor fell down from the sky and blasted him back i mean he wasn't hurt or anything but he went over to check it and when he picked up, there was like a, a green flash of light. Now, could that be an indication to whether he's going to be like uh, the Green Lantern or something? I mean, that's what I'm presuming. I, I'm not entirely sure, but it could be a possibility. However, that being said, uh, and I promise this will be the last thing. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely wrap it up. So, this July, London Film and Comic Con 2020, John Diggle... Well, the David Ramsey, aka John Diggle, is gonna be there. So I'm definitely not gonna pass that opportunity. I mean, I met Manu Bennett last year. And I'm I'm definitely gonna go for David Ramsey this year. So an opportunity that can't be missed. And yeah, that officially wraps everything up. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh if you well I'd recommend you carry on watching all, all the other series a minute. Flash, Black Lightning, Legends of Tomorrow, Supergirl, I mean, ev even the new one, Batwoman, I mean, I suppose it just depends what you're all into, really, which, yeah, I mean, people have different opinions on each of them, and I think they're all good for what they are. I, I myself, I haven't really watched Gotham at all. Uh, that's because I, I wasn't really that uh, keen on it. But apart from that, yeah, I've, I reckon uh, every all the series are, are great so far. All the crossovers that they've done have just been absolutely brilliant. Um, I could be, could not be more proud for what they've uh, done. Uh, that being said, guys, uh, that officially wraps it up. So, like I say, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like. If you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'd love to update you on more. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.